Welcome to tonight's episode of The Farm Show. If you've tuned in to, to see the new John Deere tractor models, you're in the wrong place. We aren't talking about that type of farm, partner. Tonight's guest on the show is Propranolol. You guys know what time it is. Here's your host, Polly Pharmacy. Yay! Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Farm Show, where we go in depth to discover medicine's true nature. Welcome... Help me welcome our guest, Propranolol. Woo! Hey there, Propranolol. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming tonight to talk to us. Thanks for having me, Polly. Since some of our viewers are new to the show, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Well, Polly, I am a sympathetholytic, non-selective beta blocker by trade. I work hard to block beta-1 and beta-2 androgenic receptors in folks who might happen to be at hypertensive. Wow, that is impressive. Seems like you would be very busy. Yes, my family, full all, and I keep very busy. Did you just laugh when you mentioned your family? Oh my goodness, no. My family suffix is Olaw. We are all beta blockers and that is no laughing matter, Polly. I would guess not. So tell me a little bit more about your work. Well, Polly, it's like this. People who suffer from hypertension sometimes need a little help to, come in to, uh, to help keep their symptoms under control. That is where I come in. By blocking cardiac beta-1 beta receptors, I can reduce heart rate, decrease the force of ventricular contraction, and suppress impulse conduction through the AV node. Wow, that is quite a feat. Oh, I don't stop there, Polly. By blocking renal beta-1 receptors, I can suppress the secretion of renin, which helps with sodium retention. I also block beta-2 receptors. I have a feeling that that is a labor-intensive job as well. Oh, yes, Polly. Blocking the beta-2 receptors results in three major effects. Do tell. Well, the first thing I produce is bronchoconstriction in the lungs. Then it's on to the vasoconstriction in the blood vessels. And lastly, I work on reducing glycogenolysis. Yeah, that's the right word. Which breaks down glycogen, glycogen into glucose. That is quite a resume. But tell us how it is that you get all these things done. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I am highly lipid soluble, which means I can easily get into all the hot spots. Oh yeah, and tissues and organs in the CNS. I can easily cross those pesky cell membranes, and once I'm there, I'm easily absorbed. It must be nice to have such easy access. Yeah, but the bad part is due to extens extensive metabolism on my first pass through the liver. Only 30% of my dose is available systematically, and after metabolism, I'm excreted in the urine. Well, I guess it can't all be good news. Do you have any other dirty laundry you'd like to air with us? Well, yeah. Blocking beta receptors can be a risky business, and sometimes bad things happen. I can cause bradycardia, lowered heart rate, so my patients should always assess their heart rate before taking me. Well, that doesn't seem so bad. That's not all, Polly. I can also cause AV heart block, heart failure, and some people with COPD or asthma, my bronchoconstriction effects can be very dangerous. I had no idea. Yeah, all the good effect I have can cause issues for folks with pre-existing conditions. You are telling me. So who should avoid you then? Well, like I said, the bronchoconstriction can be harmful to people with COPD and asthma. My effects on glyco glycogenolysis can be a problem for people with diabetes. People with pre-existing cardiac issues like AV block, heart failure, and sinus bradycardia should also stay away from me. Oh, and due to my ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, people who suffer from depression should use caution when I'm prescribed. I should also be avoided by women who are pregnant or lactating. That is quite a list for Pranolol. Well, my next burning question is, since you are such a hard-working drug, do you play well with others? I'm a nice drug for the most part. I just am not friendly with ca calcium channel blockers. <sighs> since they try to do the same thing as me, when we get together, we tend to work overtime and cause excessive cardio suppression. I also tend to impede the recognition of insulin-induced hypoglycemia because I can block glyco glycogenolysis, which is the body's way of fixing hypoglycemia. It could be worse. I think regardless of your bad side, you could be really helpful to a lot of people. Thanks, Polly. I think what my watchers probably want to know now is if and how you are available. 
Well, Polly, I'm available to the people who need me in a few different forms and preparations. For oral dosing, I'm available in IR or immediately immediate release tablets, 10 to 80 milligrams. ER extended release capsules, 60 to 160 milligrams. A solution four and eight milligrams are available generically, and a solution of I one milligram per milliliter for IV administration. Well, we are almost out of time, but. Do you have any other words of wisdom for our viewers? Well, Polly, the last thing I would like to say is anyone who is taking me should never stop abruptly taking me, as this can cause rebound cardiac excitation. That could definitely be a showstopper. Well, thank you, Propranolol, for stopping by and filling us in. Thanks, Polly. I had a great time. This has been The Farm Show with your host, Polly Pharmacy, sponsored by... Team Ramrod. <laughs>